Welcome to another 88K model railroad video and in this video we're going to do the actual build on the wiki demo. Now this layout build is going to be in three parts. We've got two parts here in this particular segment and in part one we're going to spec the layout out and then we're going to build a mock-up in the CAD system. Then in part two we're going to create a plan using any rail create uh, the wiring docks and then utilize the WIO demo boards that were built uh, in previous uh, videos. Now this there's going to be a gap in the videos themselves because I've been I'm pressed on getting another job out so I'm trying to throw this in real quick before I start it and um, so you're going to see a gap between one and two and then maybe uh, three as well but uh, <clears throat> I'm going to try to cover as much as I can today and then get uh, this first part out and then maybe in a week or so part two I'll be able to finish up. So now when it comes to the spec I've already spec'd it out that's what the information that you see in the on the right side here now you can see there's two of what they call CVs uh, one and two. Now Kato creates what they call variation sets and these are different uh, configuration of track that you can buy and this one is the CV which stands for compact variation one and compact variation two. Now these are really small uh, layout uh, plans and they're like as you can see they're they're like a hundred and fifty degree radius so it's really small but it's good for us because we need something compact and uh, it's actually you can see it's it's pretty close to the wiki demo plan itself uh, we'll have to make a few modifications in order to get the stations in and what I've got is the Kato state Kato has these stations here they're actually two in a box uh, on you know either side of the track it's kind of misleading it looks like it's four but there's only two so I've got two two of these kits I can break them up and then create four individual uh, stations now the stations are it's kind of for aesthetics but then there's also a point that it, it actually shows because a station you should have three sensors one as it enters in the station then the stop sensor and then the exit sensor now rock rail allows you via its software to only use two but ideally you want three uh, in the station and that way you can control uh, a lot more you get a lot more what they call resolution or feedback now We'll talk about this later, and that's about the uh, sensors and the type of sensors. So you want one, you want two types. The one that identifies a location, and then the other one where it shows the occupancy. Now, the occupancy means that, uh, or the way it works is via uh, current. So as a train sits on or loco or even a car that's drawing current sits on the track, then the system can identify that that track is occupied. Now when you use a type of sensor that's like uh, uh, the infrared or the uh, light sensitive sensors, it has to be the engine or the train has to be on top of the sensor breaking the beam. Now, if it's not breaking the beam, then the system doesn't know if it's occupied versus the current. Uh, when it's drawing the current, then it knows there's something on the track. So that's something we'll get into uh, uh, later on. But um, for right now, we're going to look at the two sensors uh, that is used in the wiki demo. So the next thing what we're going to do is the, the build up. Uh, or the mock-up in the CAD system. So let's get to that. Okay, so here we are in uh, Rhino. It's a CAD program and I spec'd um, 
like I said in the previous uh, video, I spec'd everything out and I initially came up with the dimensions of 900 uh, millimeters by 550. Now, you're going to see why I um, always spec things out and, tr and do it in CAD in order to get a really good idea of uh, what's going on. So now the stations, in order to set up a station, you're going to have, um, it's going to be a total of 248 uh, millimeters. And it's made up of, uh, or the track pieces is made up of two 62 millimeter pieces of track and one 148, um, or I'm sorry, one 124 millimeter piece of track. So now when I lay that out, so what you see in the yellow, that's an actual station. And then now you see how much you have to split this uh, layout in order to get it to fit. So if you were to, here, let me split it. Okay, so now in order for this to actually match up right where the track is supposed to be here. So this is a station here and then on the other side. Now you see how much it overlaps. So now this piece of foam or the 900 millimeter isn't enough. You actually need uh, 1100. And here um, with the 1100, <clears throat> excuse me, it uh, it will then support the complete layout right here and then we'll have the border so now there's this right here in the center is uh, 124 millimeters so what we want is a sensor then the track in the station and then the sensor again and then uh, a piece of track for it to travel across so this is what's ideal so now let's shut this off here and pull up what we actually have going on. Okay, so now this is, let's pull the dimensions up. So now you can see that this is the um, This is the uh, 1100 by 550, and then now you can see it. It everything fits. Now let's um, look at. Let's go here. Okay, so now what I've done is I've created the base for the foam itself, which is the one inch, and then I want this to be two inches uh, riser. And the reason why is I want to be able to have the track here laid and then have the wires come down here and then cover that. And then that, that makes it easier for us to put down all of the sensor wires. Then here I've got a little port or a tunnel and it's to be able to run wires into this inner loop and wire the track and, you know, all the power and the sensors and everything. So, um... Now, this, this pretty much covers everything in the mock-up. So I know that this, is, this will work and that these dimensions are really, really close. So now I can go into any rail, pull up all the parts, get everything uh, uh, laid out, and then I can start to migrate and start doing the wiring and uh, setting uh, all of that up. So now... <clears throat> you can see that uh, this is a one-to-one -one, uh, 
it's uh, yeah, it's a one to one, meaning that you can see that there's one square foot for this the the way it is represented in the the tiles itself. So um, here, let's do this. So you can get a real good idea because sometimes looking at the computer can be misleading. So you need some reference. So this right here is a soda can. So now that gives you a little bit of reference to just how big the layout is or how small it is. And now um, we'll be able to uh, cut the foam and then replicate this. So we have all of the dimensions, the height and everything needed to uh, to replicate this uh, layout. So now this is where I'll end it and maybe in a couple of days I'll come back and then I'll be able to set things up and then do the uh, any rail portion and then the wiring and uh, once we get that done then we can move forward and uh, get this uh, layout built. So uh, we'll talk to you later and as usual like subscribe and uh, Hit that notification bell so you know when it, uh, when the video comes up. So I'll talk to you guys later. Bye.